They call it Hell's Backbone, and today we're taking out the Jeeps to see what this ominously named road has to offer. Hi everyone, I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. Join us as we learn about the history and the beauty of the Escalante area. And guess where in the world Reese is today? Well, there's geysers, glaciers, and a whole lot of ice. Think you know where he is? Then join me, Stephen Human, as I show off the upcoming season of snowmobiling in Utah. At your leisure starts right now. doesn't really matter what month of the year it is, you can always find a place in Utah to play. Hi everybody, welcome to At Your Leisure today. I'm Chad Booth and I've got the keys. I got them. <laughs> I'm Rhea Rossi Booth and we're in Garfield County on Hell's Backbone, believe it or not. And we have some great friends with us today. Well, you know that guy. Give me my tea back. Yeah, we don't, you don't care about Darren. <laughs> Notice how wide eyes his eyes were because I was in the blue Jeep. <laughs> Do you want the key? Yes. Look at that chicken. Let's, let's introduce the we, new commissioner. We, we do life. have our guests with us. By way of introduction, I'd like to introduce you to Jerry and Monica Taylor. Jerry had just been elected as the county commissioner here in Garfield County, but currently also holds the job and title of mayor of Escalante or Escalante if you're from the outside. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us. We appreciate you bringing us along on this trip. You're both from around here, is that right? I grew up in Escalante, and this is actually where we used to hunt and fish uh, all around us right here, so I did. I grew up in Escalante. We want to find out a little bit more uh, about Hell's Backbone, the story of the road, the communities that go through. Jerry, who would be a really good person for us to have tell that story? Our county commissioner, our present county commissioner right now, Del Lefevre. Uh, let's go find him. Great. <laughs> That was the first road into Boulder. That road, the Hell's Backbone Road. And uh, my mother read it, wrote a book on it. It's a lot of drop-offs. There, it's, it's a beautiful drive. You know, you go from here up to Lake Creek Draw, and then you go from there over to Sand Creek, and Sand Creek up the bridge, and you go clear around, to, you go clear on around the Rogers over into Posey. It would have been difficult for the people who uh, paved that highway and that road. For us, it's, it's not a modern convenience. It's bumpy, it's rough, there's a few potholes, but you know what? It's drivable and it's a beautiful place to see. That's the third bridge that I know of. The first bridge, they built it way back when they had the old cable tool cats, I guess. The story is that they put two logs across there when they got through on one side of the road. They put two logs across there and the guy drove a cat across that an old cable tool cat. They put a rope around him in case the cat fell off the logs. They could catch him. We saw canyons, beautiful canyons that are amazing to behold. Um, my husband likes to say that when God got through creating this earth, that he threw everything into Southern Utah, what was left. I love in Southern Utah that I have the right to go out and see the stars at night. I get to go out and breathe the clean air and I get to see and live in the most beautiful part of the world. And you have to leave it a better place than what we found it. And I don't think people realize that. I mean, we're married to this land. Well, here you got Hell's Backbone, the bridge. You don't have to have a rope tied around you anymore to go across it. <laughs> <laughs> you used to, huh? <laughs> wow, I like it better this way. And I'm telling you, I don't know why they use the word hell in this, because it is the most majestic, beautiful place I think I've ever stood. Well, if this is were, amazing. If you were a farmer trying to furrow the land and plant crops, I think you might use that phrase. That makes sense. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's much easier now to cross that bridge. Oh my gosh, how totally daunting. I can't even imagine that. <laughs> and well, right now it's time for us to turn our attention from the beauty of this area and take you to this week's travel adventure. I tell you, Darren, I turn my head for a minute. You take the wheel of the blue Jeep. Then I go back to get in the silver Jeep, and Rhea's behind the wheel of that one. It's just not fair. Maybe we it's... don't trust your driving skills. Ah. <laughs> Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are along Hell's Backbone Road. We just climbed up out of 
the little community of Boulder. What you're seeing is the little valley of salt wash. And this is just a collection of little communities, but this is how this whole region is built. You have these rugged mountains and then you have these fertile valleys in between with these outposts of humanity. And it's just, it, it is like getting in your Jeep and turning it into a time machine. Let's find out a little bit more about some of the things you can do around this area because after you've had two or three days of iconic scenes and you're overwhelmed, you need something else to do. Escalante is a beautiful place, community of about 800 people, just a quiet little country town. We're surrounded by, we've got the Grand Staircase National Monument on our south, we've got the forest um, on, on the north of us, and we're just surrounded by all kinds of scenery, all kinds of things to do. People can come here, they can hike, they can bike, they can hunt, fish. There's all kinds of things to do if they want to come and stay right here in Escalante. Highway 12 is the second most beautiful highway, uh, I believe, in the world. I believe that's what, I believe Fox News said that. But there's all kinds of things along Highway 12. You come, you come just shortly out of Panguitch, you start on Highway 12. You come through the Red Canyon area, which is beautiful. You've got Bryce Canyon right there. You come and drop into Escalante, which is uh, spectacular scenery. You go on towards Boulder, you drop into the Red Rock Canyons, and it's just a beautiful area. We do have restaurants and, and places to stay, great places to stay, and, and good restaurants. Between Escalante and Boulder, we've got, there's great places to eat and to be able to stay. We're also, right now, Escalante's growing a little bit. We've, we're actually adding uh, a place that you can come and stay and stay in yurts. Escalante is a wonderful place, and, and I grew up here. This is where my heart is, this is where my home is and it's just a wonderful place and that's why my wife and I are back. Okay, I've been waiting around through this whole segment. Out. <laughs> what, you wanna drive? <laughs> Yikes, well we better go to our trailhead adventure brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC.com and uh, I'll think about it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a good show next week, as always. Oh, yeah. And we've come full circle. Yeah, we're at the Circle D here in Escalante, just where we started. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, you know, if you come down here, there's always another road. There's always another route to discover. But we all have our favorites. Darren, what's yours? Uh, you know, the Burr Trail is awesome on the motorcycle because it's kind of a nice, fun little road. But, but after that, you know, you can go jeeping way out into the desert. And if you noticed off of the uh, Hell's uh, backbone, backbone mm -hmm. there were trails eight ways to Sunday mm. up there. I kept going, let's go down that one. Let's go down that one. You I know, know they're endless. I, if we could have spent all day up there, we could have had a great time. What about you, Rhea? Well, Kelly Grade, remember when we did that, how much oh, yeah. fun that was? The Smoky Mountain where all the mountains, those holes, literally, and smoke right. coming out of them. <laughs> that was fascinating. Of course, now, my favorite is the, the Hole in Rock Road, because I like history. Yeah. And you can take the north end of Hole in Rock all the way down to where it falls into the lake. <laughs> yeah. And, and it the, when you've gone too far. That is when you have. <laughs> you hopefully have a boat. <laughs> That's right. And of course, uh, out that area, there are a whole bunch of canyoneering operations. So if you, know, if you are experienced at canyoneering or you want to pick up a guide, you can go out there and have a lot of fun. So yeah. that's probably one of my favorite places out here. So as we always say, there's adventure around every bend. So get out and create your own adventure at, at your leisure. leisure. Who's paying for the bill? You are. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice up there on the, you know, the, um, oh, sorry. Hell's, Hell's, I want to. I got no place to drive. Well, made something about your driving. Uh, Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna to wanna to watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna to wanna to like it, you're gonna to wanna to share it, and you're gonna to wanna to subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna to wanna to do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.